evening, and welcome to Spotlight, the showcase for variety entertainment. Tonight, we are proud to feature in the Spotlight, Killarney. In 1973, the original owner of the Blarney Stone uh, was uh, touring Ireland, uh, a dual purpose. He was there on holiday and keeping an eye out for bands that he thought would be appropriate to play in his Irish club in Vancouver because he was planning a big St. Patrick's Day thing and he wanted to be the club in town that had a band from Ireland. Like, so he could have the real thing going at the... So we were playing in Dublin on the, on the night that he was sort of running around Dublin in and out of different clubs. and. We were the ones he came to afterwards and said, well, uh, I have a club in Vancouver, do you want to come over? You know, you're thinking, you'll get a call from us and we can do this for you. So we figured, well, I'll just give him a number anyway, <laughs> he'll never hear anything. <laughs> and uh, sure enough, you know, a couple of weeks later, he said, well, have you guys decided, will you come? You know, and that's what started it. We were all young, energetic, you know, eager to go. So working six nights a week didn't bother us back then. So we came out and uh, liked it, like what we saw, and uh, we've been back and forth for a couple of years, you know, doing the British Isles touring, one-nighters, and uh, we liked it better here because you could set your gear up and uh, leave it up for six weeks. It was just something we did at the time. A producer here in, in Vancouver was down a few nights to see us and he said, look, I have a song that you guys should probably do. He, was, he said, I've listened to you guys with harmonies and stuff. Do you think you could like put this into a harmony piece as well? So that's how that began. So we did that song and um, I, I had a song that I had written and we threw it on the B side. In those days, there were little single records. <laughs> it got lots of radio play, you know, not enough to make us millionaires or anything to make us any money, as a matter of fact. But uh, yeah, we got it played in Ireland quite a bit. Uh, it actually got played in Canada quite a bit. I think it was number one in Spasm. But anyway. But it's the Jimmy Ferguson Show, starring Jimmy Ferguson. And we did, um, it was a half-hour TV series that ran for 13 weeks, nationally. And a uh, great experience. We performed live off the floor. There was no uh, lip syncing or miming, you know, so it was a lot of work, good experience. Um, don't think I'd ever do it again. It's the old saying, like, you know, if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. There are lots of pieces that we do, we've been doing for years, and of course, we're sick to the teeth of it, you know. But, you know, if you get requests, um, we're there to provide a service. If you want to hear a particular song and we do it, hey, we're going to do that song just for you. No, I don't have favorite songs. I have a lot of songs I dislike, like we all do. Uh, you know, we, the song gets called and, you know, if there was a rope, you know, I'd throw it on the rafters. Um, but uh, my least favorite song, where I would stab myself in the heart every night, is The Unicorn. We've seen generations change at the Blarney Stone. You know, we've we have, we have kids coming up to us now, telling us that their mum and dad met at the Blarney Stone. You know, so it doesn't make us feel that good, but we have to pretend. Oh, that's great. You know, <laughs> it's still a mystery to us. We haven't changed what we do, style-wise at least, in the 25 years. So I'm going to say this, that 
But the younger generation, like yourself, um, uh, started to s s figure, okay, well, there is something to this other styles of music. You know, we don't have to go to uh, uh, listen to the same thing in every nightclub. Uh, we can come here for a different experience. The club itself is a different ambience entirely to other nightclubs. But I think the kids, um, they just get a kick out of that Irish music. Great band, honestly, great band, very local. I like them. Play from the heart. I like they cover a lot of good songs. Um, they play really good music. It's dope. To me, the Blarney Stone and Memories don't exactly go too well together. I remember coming and I remember going. Oh no. I don't remember going. But I remember coming. And that's a pretty good memory. Yeah. That's all I got.